Oh my gosh, this is the way that we are sending right now all eyes on Bitcoin. What is going on, everybody? We're punching another green candle right now. It is inevitable. Um, every day we are seeing Bitcoin updates on the ETFs. This trillion level asset managers are not quiet. We do not have to sell to whales. We do not have to lose patience now that we are days away of ending 2023. Guys, let's have a conversation right now because I have different levels like you have in your own charts. And it's so crazy how we didn't even break that support during the FOMC meeting. We didn't break it. But in this case, we, I mean, I think we're just expecting to break the all time high once again, 44,000 plus. And that's it. We just put 44,000. Twitter is going insane. I believe 44, 45 by the end of 2023. That's it. If we end at those levels, it just means that we're in a perfect shape. I'm not asking $60,000. I'm not asking $50,000. I told you, and you can go back. I've said 40 to 50. That's it. I've said it multiple times. And we wish it would have been higher. We wish it would have been already 70,000. But wouldn't it be a better idea to buy our friend BTC right now at 40 or at I mean, not even 30, guys. We didn't even get to 30. I said, and I was, it was a prediction. And that prediction now is wrong. I was wrong, period. I said, we're going to go to thirty-eight, thirty-nine thousand dollars $39,000. You can go back. I said it. Where, where is it? It's not here. Meaning that my prediction, my hypothesis, this is wrong. But it was so close, right? I wasn't expecting for Bitcoin to do this. But now it's doing it. My long-term prediction is right. Saying forty to $50,000. We are days away from the session Bitcoin ETF approvals. BlackRock, three, four. I don't even know how many meetings they've been having. Bandwick, you have Franklin, Anger. Guys, these are, these are the good signs that you and I have been waiting for. That's why you are subscribed to crypto. Not only me, not only many of them, many, so many different people, great leaders in this space, because we are putting our money where we may not know everything. That's, that's a fact. We're still learning so much. But one thing we know is that we're extremely early. And everybody watching here, subscribe to this channel, know that 160,000, 1 million people, right? It's nothing compared to 1 billion, compared to 8 billion. So it's beautiful that we finally have a chance to put our money where our mouth is and dollar cost average our way down. This is the day. I love it. If I click twice, you're going to see the two RSIs, stochastic and RSI normal. And the stochastic is getting ready for another rally to go over overbought. The other side is close to the overbought as well. It does seem based on this, and I'm going to show you. Let's close this one. I'm going to show you the Bollinger Bands, which also help. We were at the very middle of the Bollinger Bands indicating, okay, either we reject, we go down, and it's rejecting positively. Let's continue with this conversation, everybody. Don't forget to smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on those notification bells. We really love to see Bitcoin green on this day, which is the 20th. Um, take a look at the links down below. Join Bing X up to $5,000 free um, if you get it, of course, by signing up as a new member. And um, let me show you guys. BlackRock Game Plans realizes Bitcoin is here to stay, creates FUD, dumps the price, retail investors sell Bitcoin. And guess what Mr. Um, you know, Flink is going to do? Buy your Bitcoin. And that's guaranteed. That's what happens all the time, guys. We also have new institutional interest in Bitcoin has been steadily rising amid spot ETF approval. As CME open interest has risen to over 3.4% thousand bitcoin in the past week while remaining near all-time highs 
And it is the reality, everybody. We're all watching and it's going to be powerful. And we were at 1.54 in the dump. We're back at 1.64. I remember that 1.54, 1.55. Now we're almost 10, right? Just like this, 0.10, which is you know incredibly exciting. And in the last one hour, we have Bonk kind of recovering some of the losses. Caspa kind of interesting and some other different ones. So I like it. I like it. I mean, we're finally making some progress. Once again, back to 70. We haven't seen that 80 yet, but mark my words, if we pass that 44, you know what's going to happen. We're going to have some good fireworks. And I think I'm, I'm easily looking at us reaching the $45,000 for Bitcoin. We have just a few more days, about 11 more days, and that's it. 12, 11 more days. Uh, 11, actually. Uh, for some of you, 10, because you live in Asia or so. So congrats and hello to everybody watching. But here in the U.S., we have just 11 more days. And uh, I honestly, because we don't have any FOMC meeting anymore, we do not have anything major. That's actually something I've said during the FOMC meeting while we were live. I was like, after this, that's it. There's really nothing else. We're not going to get any decision on the um, Bitcoin ETF. We're not going to get any other altcoin proposal, fork, announcement whatsoever. That's it. So what whales and traders decide to do, we'll just have to see. The good thing is that we're still in this margin. So let me go ahead and bring it to you guys. We're still in this margin that I drew for you a couple of days ago, a week ago, plus ago. And it's just my experience knowing, okay, based on what's in the past, right? I can create where if we go and pass this, we're going to go lower. If we go up past this, we're going to go higher. And you can clearly see. Now let's go ahead and delete it. How we got rejected here on the 18 and we're getting rejected right now on the 20th. We passed a little bit. We broke this one on the crash on the 11th. That's when a lot of people were like, you know what? Possibly we're going to get, we get in $38,000. This was on a Sunday, I remember. Um, I was live with you guys, and it was crazy. A lot of people were panicking. Now we're on the totally opposite side. And if you were buying the, your dollar cost average, you're 10% higher. Just 10% higher. That's the beauty of crypto, everybody. Pronos, Bitcoin. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the update. That's what's going on right now. I'm looking all eyes on Bitcoin. About to send it for the rest of 2023. It's been a great year. The next one, few words can describe it. Peace.